we're looking at um, polymers forming of. Reason why I've saved it till now. You know in the jet aircraft, as the air goes through the jet, the engine gets smaller in diameter. The centre of it gets bigger on the inside to force more pressure. Yeah? Extrusion of polymers works exactly the same way. It feeds in little pellets of polymers about 6mm round and 10mm long, so they just get fed in a hopper, kind of like baked beans, that a screw picks up and feeds into the extrusion machine. The textbooks may say there is a heating jacket that provides the heat. It provides about 2% of the heat. It provides the fine control. Most of the heat comes from the friction. Physically, you get those polymer pellets and you just start putting them through a screw and rubbing them over each other and you physically melt them by rubbing them together. As you get along, the screw gets finer pitch as I've drawn it. Feed the polymer pellets in, there's a lot of air. You've got to get the air out of the finished polymer. How you do that is you compress it. As it's rotating in the screw thread, the pitch is getting closer, the screw th threads get closer together, the volume gets less as well, so it's physically crushed together, 80 to 90% plus of the heat and in, in, in extrusion machine comes from friction. And at this point, you have got molten plastic, let's go 130 degrees centigrade, at pressure. And it is forced out a nozzle. Exactly the same way as we looked at extrusion with metal, extrusion with polymers, you just force it through a nozzle. If you have got electric cable, you are making insulated electric cable, you physically run, I'll pick a different colour, black. We just run. There's a coil of cable, it runs straight through the middle, straight out there, and now around the outside, it has got a polymer coating put on it. That's how they actually make your electrical cables. That's how they insulate the electrical cables. It's extrusion moulded, polymer, PVC, flex, um, plasticised PVC, put over the cable. <coughs>